Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim Dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum my name is Shweb Khan and welcome to maxafter.com's another tutorial I was playing around with some effects and I came up with something exciting so I thought of sharing it with you guys so this is what we would be doing Soul in After Effects. Okay, you can also watch a smooth video in my uh, blog as well. As a preview, you saw here is a bit jerky due to low frame rate. Let's start the tutorial. Let's first start by making a new comp for our tunnel. Go to Composition, New Comp. So we'll make a custom size preset which is uh, 720 by 1000. Okay, the height here basically determines the height of the tunnel, how long the tunnel is going to be. If you make it 2000, the tunnel will be longer. So let's keep it 1000 for now. And write here, tunnel. So I've already made a new folder for tutorials, and this is my folder. So if you want to see my settings of this project, then all my comps are in here. So let's put this one in tutorials comp. Let's go and make a new layers. Go to layer, new, solid. Uh, make it comp size and we say okay you go to fractal fractal noise drag it over here and then we just go to fractal noise panel here so in here we go to the transform and we uncheck the uniform scaling and we get this panel here let's say we make it um, 10,000 and probably this to 100 that's fine and we'll make this to Let's play around with the contrast and brightness. So I'll make it around 700, and this one probably around. And also, if we scroll down, and then we can uh, come to evolution, and you press Alt and click in the evolution, and we write a small expression: time times hundred so you want it to move all the time the next thing we do is offset turbulence so we'll just offset it and let's put a keyframe here and then we go and type 1000 here so it looks cool this is basically we are making the tunnel here so if it doesn't make any sense bear with me it will in a second so the next thing uh, what we do is we will add another effect which is warp wave warp and we just put it here and we change it to noise and as you can see this is a great effect you know as well um, you can use this effect for you know for TV screens as well so we don't want that fuzzy so what we do is we just change this to 2 these are the settings that we can change later as well according to our tunnel this is, we type here tunnel. Now what we do is we make another comp, we make a final comp where we will put all our pre-comps in it. So this one we'll go and use, the reason I put it is 720 because we'll be using square pixels, NTSC D1 square pixel. So because the width is 720, so the width has to match. So let's say in a 6 seconds, that's fine. And so we can write this as our final touch, right? And we put our tunnel in here. The first thing is we will apply CC cylinder. So as you can see, it's already shaping up. And if we come down to shading, let's change this, make it a bit brighter. Good change this to 100 as well and we can leave the rest as it is you can play around with these values here if you like and we come to the rotation here and change this to minus 90 so now you can see so we've got our tunnel here next thing is we want to apply some color to it so we'll go to tint and here we'll change this to this color Let's add a camera to the scene. So we go to Layer, New, and Camera. And let's keep it 15 millimeters and press OK. OK, let's apply a null to it as well. Go to Layer, New, 
null object and we'll attach our camera to the null object make it 3D and press P here and we just put it to 280 and put 314 these are the values that I got um, earlier when I was doing the tutorial so I'm gonna put those values so minus 277 so now what we do here is is we'll apply another effect which is a cool effect CC vector blur we apply to our tunnel here and we go and put 150 here and probably 90 let's apply glow to it so that we can see it properly and let's change the setting for the glow glow radius to 6 and change this to 2 let's move it above the CC vector blur the next thing what we need is we need a grid uh, so for that we go to our project panel here and we use the same comp this comp to create our grid so we control D this one and we call this grid and in grid we will select this uh, now we in the grid comp and we press enter and we just write grid we open effects press E and delete these effects we don't need these so we add a new effect which is grid basically we're using the same uh, composition so that we don't have to create a new comp and go through the whole process again so what we do is um, we write 2 here the grid size or probably 3 and we'll do width slider width slider and keep it like that we can change this to 2 so now we got our grid so what we do here is we go back to our final and we select this tunnel and control D and name this one grid and select our grid here and press alt on your keyboard and drag it on top of it so we got our grid here and we go to our grid panel here and we change the color to bit bright change the color to this and change the radius to 17 and let's play around with these values okay so we've got our grid here okay let's add another layer layer new solid and make it comp size put on top and what we do is apply a fractal to it fractal noise and we change basic to strings and soft is fine and we change the contrast to 83 and this to let's say minus 6 and again we put a small uh, expression here uh, alt and click on the evolution and we put the same expression time times 100 and we change the track mat to luma mat so that the reason I did this because uh, I don't want to see the full grid I just want some parts of it so and also you can increase the scaling here and now when you go back you'll see that our grid is applied as well put effect let's check few things here um, let's change the color to glow is fine let's go to grid here and change the CC vector blur to 100 change this to let's animate our null see how it looks press P and we put a keyframe here we have 15 frames uh, put a keyframe the values we set before is fine and we come to frame 0 and we push it back in the space and change these values here that's fine and 
So it comes here, stops, and then go to the last end of the timeline, which is six seconds. And here we will put the values 320, right, 240, and also and also we'll push inside the tunnel. And we put the value here. 733 three. so we are here so you can see the edge of the tunnel so you don't want to see the tunnel so you just put it here so basically if you watch the custom view then you'll see how it looks this is our tunnel and this is our null and the camera moving inside the tunnel let's go back to active camera ok let's add a text and we'll write max after and we make it 3D and we get the position of the null which is 753 so we'll put here 7 probably 40 that's fine and we turn on title action safe so we see the middle we move it in the middle and I've applied it as you know this is just an outline so the color I've turned it off and outline I've applied the color to the outline so you can also apply glow to it and we can bring it in from here so let's see a preview so as you can see this is a very simple uh, technique of creating a 3D tunnel and also applying some nice cool effects to make it look cool. My project file is also attached, um, which is which is this one, which I, where I spent more time to it. And so you can also use this one to see the values that I've used. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for visiting maxafter.com. Once again, my name is Shweb Khan from maxafter.com. Peace be on all of you. Assalamu alaikum.